Interlab Color Measurement Systems are used for both research and color quality control for a wide range of pharmaceutical products. The instruments allow you to measure the reflected color of powders, tablets, capsules, and dip strips, or measure the transmitted color of solutions and syrups. The LAB scale is the most commonly used color scale. Essentially, the LAB scale is created to reproduce how our eyes and brain communicate color. The L axis is a measure of the lightness of your product. On the L axis, L equals zero is total absorption, whereas pure white would equal 100. Next is the A axis, which describes the green to redness factor. A positive A would have more red in it, while a negative A value would have more green. Last is the B axis, which represents the blue to yellowness of the product. A positive B value would be a more yellow product, while a negative B value would be a more blue product. There are three categories of instruments, portable, benchtop, and online systems. In the pharmaceutical industry, the majority of instruments used are benchtop systems, which vary depending on your exact function. The beauty of the benchtop systems is that they maintain the perfect balance between sample measurement precision and versatility. Northeastern U.S. sales representative Ken Wendt will now demonstrate how to use the UltraScan Viz a visible range, high-performance benchtop system. During the past five years, Hunter Lab has done extensive work in biopharma applications. In today's demonstration, I'm going to measure the transmitted color of liquids, the reflected color of powders, and the reflected color of some finished products. When we standardize, we use our semi-microcell used in many UV vis applications. It could be quartz, high quality, or simple, inexpensive polystyrene. I first sell, fill the cell with DI water, place it in my holder, and begin the standardization by first blocking the beam. And then open path with the cell filled with the DI water. Now I'll begin my process of taking a measurement, fill the cell, which could be less than one milliliter of liquid, place it in my holder, simply take a reading. In our first reading, I read the DI water back as a quick operational check and I verified it as water with 100% transmission. I then measured our sample and it came back with a lightness value of 94, a uh, yellowness of about 4 units, and the corresponding USP and EP values. Okay, when we switch from transmission to reflectance, we first standardize the system and we use the uh, small area of view when measuring the small powders. And you'll see the indicator here by this LED on the magnifier. Now, to take a measurement, I'll take my product and I'm going to fill my powder holder with a very small quantity, you know, much less than one cc. So, put our small volume powder in here and uh, back it with a plunger. And what we see here now is our white area. Place it in the holder and take a read. And after taking a measurement, it shows the lightness, a slight greenness with our A value, yellow value of nearly 7, and along with its brightness and yellowness index values. Hunter Lab instrumentation takes the guesswork out of color control. It gives you objective analytical data for both research and color quality control in the pharmaceutical industry. Contact your local Hunter Lab sales representative for more details or demonstration.